Okay, so we're done with the first part. And this, the second part, what we're going to do, instead of using arrays of, uh, arrays of numbers, we want to use an arrays of names. So how do we do this? Go ahead and add another button. <coughs> Just control copy and control V. And then let's name this list ex names. Okay, instead of exams, let's put list names. Okay, and the text, it should say list names. All right, what are we going to do here? We're gonna do something similar. We define an array, instead of the array having numbers, it will have yes. names. So I'm double click on it, and I'm gonna define an array. How do we define an array? First, we give it the type, strings. And then, then because it's an array, we give it bracket, string names, or a string and then an array. Here where I say what? I say string names, the name of the variable. Now I can put it, give it the values. Now the values are, you can say Omar uh, Fatima uh, Okay. What is the difference between this one and the one that we did before? It's the same thing. Instead of we using numbers, now we have strings. So we have an array. What is the name of the array? Names. What is the type of the elements that we're putting in the array? Strings. You got the idea? Type. How do we list them in the list box? Can we use something similar? than we did the, like the for loop we used before? We can, but in this example, I wanna use while loop because we haven't done much in while loops, okay? How do we use a while loop? We can say while, we define first the index. So I'm gonna define int i, and I'm going to make it equal to zero, okay? Int i equal to zero. Because the first element starts always in an array, the first element always start with a zero here. So we, then we say while i is less than names dot what? How do we get how many elements in the array? Length. Length. All right. What do we do inside the loop? We simply add them to do what? Uh, to the list box. So I can say LST result dot items dot add and then the name the names dot I. I'm going a little bit faster because we already explained this. Okay. So what is it what are we doing here? I say I equals zero from the then we get into this loop. Is i less than the the less than the the, the the length of the array? Yes, we have one one two three four five. So it would be less than five. So we go inside the loop. What do we do inside the loop? We add the names to the list box. All right. Now, did the value of i change, or is it still zero? Have we changed the value of i inside the loop or is it still zero? So is that a problem or is that okay? How do we go to the next element in the array? What do we should do? We need to increase the value of i. If we don't increase the value of i, you'll be stuck in the loop. You cannot get out of it. So what do we need to do? We say i plus plus to increase the value of i. Otherwise, 
you'll be always at zero. Zero, 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 zero less than five, yes, zero less than five. So you'll be always stuck inside that loop. Okay? Yes? I mean, I'll give you a minute to figure it, finish it. Now, if we test it, what's going to happen? Look at it. We click on this. If we look, this is the list of the exam. Now, if I click on list of names, I got the names, right? Now, we don't have a button to clear the list, but we can have a button to clear the list, right? Sorry. Matla, let me check it for you. Okay, now well, let's see what else can we do with these loops. If I want to sort the names, if I want to sort the names, now are, are the names sorted in the list? Look in here. Are they sorted? No. They're not sorted. So what do I have to do to sort them? I would have to change the order here, right? Manually or... I can ask the computer to do it for me. Which one would be faster and more efficient? Ask the computer. How do we ask the computer to sort the name for us? All right. So what do we do? We, in the same program, let's add a, a line in your list box. So I'm going to put like a title in your list box. So we're going to say list box. List run, yeah, outside, the, after the loop. List uh, dot items dot add. What are we going to add? We're going to say uh, names sorted. Alphabet, okay. As, ascending order. Okay, sorted. And then let's just put some... If you want to put like a title or you're going to put uh, underline, you can do that. Um, you can add another line so you can see control copy, control B, and then you can put here. You can put like, if you want, like this, okay? Just to make it look like underline. Now, this is not, this is primitive, but it's okay. So now we need to give a command to sort the array. How do we give a command to sort the array? We can say names dot, let's see what else do we have. Do we have anything called sort? We have reverse. We have Okay, we have, we have to give, we have to use, say, array dot sort, and we give it the name of the array. Exam does not exist. Name, sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. So what does this do? We're telling the computer we have. There is a function called. There is an array object or class that has some method that we can use in it. So, do you remember the? Uh, we can say. Um, uh, I don't know if we have used it here or not, but. There are classes that are, there are commands that are available for us. Remember application.exit that we've used before to exit the application? There is something similar here. Here, it's an, there's an object like for arrays. It says, array, sort this array for me. Okay, so I'm giving a command that would sort the array. And this is the command that we use to sort the array. Now, in the past, you can do, I mean, you could do sort it manually if you want to, but uh, there is a better way to do it. We ask the computer to do it. So now, after I sort the array, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy the same code that I have before, and then add it to the list to see the difference, okay? So what I'm going to do, 
copy it after the command to sort the array. All right? So the first time it will be listed, not sorted. The second time it will be sorted alphabetically. Why? Because I give it the command to sort the array. So this part, this command will sort the array alphabetically, right? Now let's test it and see what happens. If I test it, if I click on list names, why did not list it? Then we have a problem here. Did we not list it? Ah, oh, who is who's gonna tell me why? What is the why is this not working? Let's see who is the smart guy. Why is it not doing this part? What is when I, when we get out of here? What is the value of i? Zero. No. Okay. When we get out of the loop, what is the value of i? Plus one. Zero. We started with zero, but when we finished, what would it be the value of i? Plus eight. Nothing. It will be one, two, three, four, five, six. When do we exit this loop? When i is greater than what? The length of the array, right? So when we got out of here, i is already greater than the length of the array, right? So when we go back here, is i less than the, the array length or is it bigger? So do I go inside the loop? No, so I quit. You got the idea? This is a very common mistake. So what do I have to do? I have to start over. What do I have to say? i equals zero again. You got the idea? Otherwise, or it's already above five, and you will not get into the loop. Now it should work. If I do list names, notice, this is the first, not sorted. Now it's all alphabetized, correct? Yes? Yeah. You just copy this code, this, the while loop part. Just this. And then make sure that you put i equal to zero. So what if we want to sort it in reverse order? Not ascendingly, but in a descent manner. How do we do that? Uh, maybe there is another command that does that. Reverse. Okay, so if I, let's just copy this from here to here. Control, cop, control V, and instead of array.sort, what do we say? Arrays dot reverse, And we give it the array name to reverse. So everything stays the same, except now we reverse the order of the array. I'll check it here in a minute, but let's check it. So we have notice, unalphabetized, sort of sorted ascendingly, and here in a reverse manner. Clear? Yeah. All right. All right, uh, this one, this concludes the second part. Uh, in the next part, we will do uh, more arrays, but instead of hard coding the values of the array, maybe we'll get them from, we'll let the user enter those values. All right? So I'm going to start a new uh, video next, okay?